Hiya, this is Nettie and welcome back to Squishy's house. So, so far we have got the picnic bench, tablecloth, the kind of sleepover teapot, we've got the poochie with the tools in its head and we've got the picnic basket cinema. So we've got quite a lot of stuff so far. Last episode I did promise you guys I would build a jelly. So this is going to be kind of like Squishy's, because she's requested like bouncy things. <laughs> so <laughs> this is going to be bouncy things. So this time I am doing it kind of in um, real time, I guess. Um, but I do also have some of your questions here. Hopefully this is going to fit. Please fit. That will be nice. Yeah, it does. Oh. It's a bit uneven, I think. Oh no, it's perfect. Oh, not there. Yay, okay, so this is gonna be the base of the plate um, with the jelly on. And so it's gonna be kind of like a bouncy fun room. Um, it's gonna be like just like a silly room. Um, I don't know what else really to put in it just yet, apart from it just being bouncy and fun. But that is what Squishy had requested. But I have some of your questions here anyway. Um, someone has asked, um, am I going to be in Dublin? soon um weirdly enough i am going to when this episode goes out i will actually be about about 20 minutes from dublin in meath and i would have flown in the day before so i'm actually technically for me i'm going to dublin tomorrow but by the time you see this i would have already been but um, i'm going to be going to an event called mindvention um which i'm really really super excited for um, i'm going to be there all weekend so I won't be about as much on social media and stuff because I will be away at an event. So there's your answer to that. Someone else has also asked where will they, they next like get an opportunity to like meet me. So apart from that, because obviously that's, um, I've said about that, towards the end of the month, um, the end of March, I'm going to be at an event called Insomnia and that's going to be held in Birmingham. Um, we're there from like all we well all weekend we're there so um there's quite a few of us going to that as well I'll be there with like tomahawk and amy lee um mini mooka uh i can't think who else right now but there's going to be loads of us going so that's really really exciting i might do it double um going up actually and then going in just so there's room to stand up oh here we go um, so yeah, that's events. And then after that, I'm also going to be back in Ireland um, in Killarney. And that is in May. And I'm doing a um, another insomnia there. And I believe I'm actually doing another my invention in um, May as well. Uh, so that's in Ireland. But I can't remember exactly where that is. I will find out for you and let you know at some point. Um, so that's events. Next, someone has asked me, would I ra rather marry a rich, mean man or a poor, kind man? I think that's an easy answer. I'd definitely say I would marry the poor, kind man because you wouldn't want to be married to a horrible person because that would be rubbish. That wouldn't be any good at all. So next question. Um, did I fight with Stampy as a kid? No, we tended to get on really well. Um, we always sort of like play games together and things. Um, we play, we would have play fights, but not real fights. So um, no, we didn't fight as children. Um, we always sort of just really got on. Uh, next question. Uh, do I like cake as much as Stampy? Um, weirdly enough, I don't, I don't. That's not also, it's more, um, I don't really, I don't have a sweet tooth as much. Like I would maybe have like fizzy drinks and things, but I don't actually um, have, like I'm not really a dessert person. And I think that's because I've got like, this almost like weird phobia of dairy. Like I'm, like if I watch someone drink milk, like I would literally be sick. It's really bad. But um, yeah, so I can't say that I would, I'm, I'm just not massive on desserts. I'm just not a big fan. Uh, so no, I would say no. I don't like cakes as much as Stampy does. Um, let's see what this jelly is looking like. Does that look like jelly? I think it kind of looks like jelly. 
It doesn't need to be like perfectly shaped because jelly obviously isn't. We need a way to get in to the jelly. Um, I think maybe here we'll get some stairs. Where's the stairs? Where did the stairs live? Are they in here? Oh yeah, here. We'll keep with the color we've got so far. Um, so we'll do it like, make it as if we can make it a bit cool. Okay, so we can get in now. And then that can be the entrance. Here we go. This is gonna be our jelly house. Uh, we need to, should we have the floor green as well? Cause it's gotta be kind of more jelly-like. Uh, we need the white underneath, otherwise I would get rid of, are we still gonna be able to stand up? Yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna be like Squishy's fun bouncy room to just like be silly in and Oh, it's quite slow to walk on. Uh, here we go. Jellied up. We are going to have to have like some kind of... Ooh, I've had an idea. This might not work. But for do these actually light up? They do. Do they light up? Are they... Is that lit? Hopefully it does. Because if we put it under the jelly, will it glow? Who knows? Hopefully. That would be cool. Oh, I hope this glows. I'm going to be really upset if it doesn't. Should we maybe put it to night time and see? Oh, not that. Let's turn it to the... Oh. I can't. I don't have thingies on. Oh, no. I didn't want to set my spawn point. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. There was... Oh, <laughs> we've got <gasps> spawn point. Okay. Let's turn it to night time. Yeah, so that's glowing. So, if we put the jelly over it, it will be like lit up, which will be really cool. I didn't, I, I wasn't sure if they were lit up then. Right, so more questions. Someone has asked, would I rather a mountain of cats or a sea of dogs? So, I've been thinking about this. A sea of dogs would mean, oh, whoops. A sea of dogs would mean that all the sea animals wouldn't survive because they would obviously need um, they would need like water to survive so with that in mind I think I'm gonna have to go with the mountain of cats because I don't think that would injure too many other animals so I yeah that's what I'm gonna go for I'm gonna say I would prefer a mountain of cats. I wouldn't climb the mountain personally. Um, I don't think that would be a good idea. You'd probably get very scratched. But let me know what you guys would pick as well. Whether you think a sea of dog or dogs or a mountain of cats. <laughs> That's probably one of the most random questions ever. But it's a very good question. Next question. Uh, would I rather know when I'm going to die or how I'm going to die? See, this is a really hard one because I think if you know either of those things, it would make life like really horrible. Because say if if someone said to you like, oh, you're going to die from, I don't know, a, you might fall in a well or something like that. Then every time I see a well, I'm going to be really, really scared because I would think like, oh, is this the time? Because like you can't stop it. You just know that it's going to happen. But if you know when, it also might make you, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Because if you know when, it might be a bit like you would be like counting down and then that would be really horrible. And what if it was, if, if it was like quite soon? That would be horrible. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to say when. I think I would prefer when rather than how. Because then I guess you can make the most of the time you have because knowing how like that would just make you on edge for the rest of your life but if you know when you're like sort of like okay i know i'm safe for a few years like we don't have to worry too much no need to fret and so then it, it wouldn't be so bad unless it was really soon and then that would be just like horrible but no yeah i'm gonna go with when i think again let me know what you guys would pick someone has asked me uh, if I could be a singer for a day, who would I be and why? Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what to say for this answer. There's loads of amazing singers. It depends what day it was as well, because if it was a day that, um, if it was just a normal day for them, like, it wouldn't be that exciting. But if it was a day they were doing a show or something like that, that would be really cool. And I have actually always, like, I can't sing at all. I'm an awful singer. So out of tune. It's so bad. And so I have, being a singer is something I've always kind of wanted to do. And, like, um, I actually, believe it or not, um, being five foot, um, I actually um, was security on the main stage at Glastonbury Festival, which is a huge festival that we have here in the UK. It's like quite a big deal. And I was actually security at it, um, which is quite funny because I'm really short. But, um, right, let's make this a little bit more. I can't even see where the entrance is really. <laughs> let's get a door on here, just so it's a bit more secure. Where are the doors living? Oh, there they are. Here we go. Um, yeah, so I was security and so I was stood in front of the crowd and I could hear like everyone singing the songs back and it was one of the most amazing feelings I've ever had in the world. So I can't imagine what it's like if everyone's singing it back to you. I can imagine that being like absolutely amazing. So it's actually something I've always kind of like thought about and like thought like that would be amazing. But um yeah, I don't know who I'd be. Maybe just someone who's at a festival performing kind of thing. So this is our really cool jelly room so far. <laughs> I quite like it. It's like fancy. I can't think of what to put in here. Maybe like something, I don't know, squidgy things. Don't know, there's not really any squidgy things. So yeah, we've got our bouncy jelly room. We need it that you can kind of like get up on here. Can we, oh. That's not really how, we need it that we can get up onto it. If I break that one, can we? Yeah. And then we, you can get round here. Oh no. Oh no. We need it that you can bounce on top as well. Because that's half the fun. Maybe if we put, can we? Can you put uh, ladders on jelly? Is that a thing? Well, not jelly, slime. It is jelly though to us. Uh, are they ladders? That's where you live. Okay, so we need it that we can get up there. Can we place you here? We can! Yeah, so you can get on top of the jelly easily. Now, that's cool. Yay, so we've got a jelly house. So, I, I don't know if you, if you guys have like seen every episode or anything so far. Should we do like the proper tour from the beginning just to see what we have so far? So, we'll have a look at the list. People said about breaking the signs when we've got it, but I don't really want to do that either because maybe we can put on the sign like done when it's done I might do that so let's see what we've ticked off so far so we've got fluffy things that's done we've got water but I am going to add more water but we have got water we've got animals bouncing around we've got tools movies um, we've got dens We've got quirky, I guess, with the um, table. Colours. We don't have pirates. We don't have advanced redstone. I'm not looking for that. Sleepover parties, I guess, but not really. So really, we've got nine or ten things. i tell you what we could quickly do, just to make it a bit more of a party. Um, we are going to ditch most of this stuff for now because we don't need any of it anymore and I need oh we want the red wall that's what we want to keep and we're gonna get rid of this so we're gonna make it into a party as well uh, here we go just so we've got a little bit more room uh, where do there we go this is what I want so we're gonna make it into a party a bit more we're gonna just go like this see if you can guess what I'm doing Um next episode i'm really really super excited because i have an idea of what i'm going to do um i'm not going to tell you what it is though because i want you to guess um at the time because it's something that's quite cool right this is gonna be right let's get this going up uh we're gonna have it in the episode soon i don't want to i don't feel ready i want to carry on building that's the worst thing with this series 
is that I get so into it and I just want to carry on building and like keep going and like do more and more things but I can't it's annoying uh, we'll make that a bit taller okay here we go so let me know if you can guess what this is uh, here we go I'm gonna try and make this like a particular kind of shape which is quite hard okay Oop, there we go so then we'll have it going out a bit more. Oh, that's got to go out there, doesn't it? Here we go. See if you can work out what this is. I just don't know if you guys can remember what I just said the theme's going to be for this. Uh, let's have this going out here. Here. This is going to be quite big. <laughs> Here we go. I do have some more questions as well. Let's have a look. Would I rather a pet dog or a pet cat? This is something that's really hard because recently, obviously, um, Ori has joined the family. And so before that, I think I would have answered dog. But I really love Ori. And I kind of think, like, she's so lovely. And I always kind of thought cats were a bit kind of... Um, grumpy and they didn't really want to like give much attention or anything like that and they they weren't like sort of like the friendliest of animals but I've really really enjoyed like meeting Ori and um, my other friends got um, a couple of cats who I've spent a lot of time with recently and their cats are like so lovely and friendly and really nice so I kind of I'm warm towards cats but I kind of like the playfulness and loyalty of dogs um, I like that they um, they sort of they really remember who you are and they um, will kind of like always kind of like like if you call them they come to you and I kind of like the whole going for like a walk on the beach or something like that. Um, so I'd say I would say right now, right at this moment in time, I don't think I could have a dog just because I wouldn't have the time to look after it and it wouldn't be fair on the dog so I would say right now a cat at some point in my life I would like to have a dog so maybe both maybe I don't have a I don't have a preference I would just like like either okay the shape of this has gone a bit funny we'll just change the shape in a minute we'll just do this so it goes up and then we can break it down a little bit <laughs> isn't going to plan okay this will be fine <laughs> uh, whoa we just fell off that wasn't oh I can't get back up here we go okay this is a bit of a weird shape let's do this here and then we need to kind of like round this off slightly uh, okay this isn't going to plan <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the weirdest shape <laughs> ever. I want it kind of round-ish. Uh, we'll keep that there. And then there. It um, can be a weird shape one, I guess. <laughs> this is meant to be a kind of like balloon. <laughs> but it's not, it's not gone to plan. <laughs> this is the weirdest shape balloon ever. That can be our weird shape balloon. It's like part deflated. Oh, that edge is a bit, um, okay. <laughs> it's like a deflated balloon. <laughs> it looks so silly. Okay. <laughs> it's really tickled me. Okay, this is our half deflated balloon called Boris. So, hello Boris, the deflated balloon. So, so far we've got our dog and balloon. So we've ticked off party as well. So we, I think we've ticked off about 10 things on the list so far, which is really cool. But we are gonna end that episode there. Um, well, we're gonna go and get Squishy first. So we're gonna get Squishy now. She's gonna have a look at what we've done so far. She's gonna meet Boris and um, see our bouncy jelly house. So we are back and we have Squishy with us and she is about to see what we have been doing. Are you excited? What have you been doing? <laughs> so it's on top of the table this time. You've got like okay. another room. I have to climb up. 
Okay. Yeah. Ooh, well, you I don't. You don't have to. You can fly up. I don't know why I took the stairs. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I struggle flying, so I, the stairs are good for me. <gasps> so this is your jelly room. Jelly. It's, it's not really got anything. It's not really anything in it apart from it's just. It, it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. It doesn't and, need anything in it. It's a jelly room. It's awesome. And you yeah. can go on top of it, so you can bounce. Like there's a ladder on the side, and so you can ah, go on top and so bounce. Cool. So you can bounce okay. with a sea view. That is amazing. But I've also this done something best. else. Okay. You have a half deflated balloon for the party theme. Oh, that's so cute. That your Poochie is holding. Oh, I love it. Hello, Poochie. <laughs> oh, this is so... Why is it half deflated? <laughs> because apparently doing a circle didn't go very well. <laughs> and like, I got frustrated and we ended up with a half deflated balloon. I love it. I think it's great. Thank you very much, Nettie. I love it. It's this is attention. awesome. I like it all. It's fun. <laughs> Let's bounce really high. Ready? <laughs> well, see how boy. high you can go. I, I want to try and work out a way how you can make it more bouncy. I don't. Well, know. you just you have to go really high up, uh, like okay. this. So if the higher you go, like so, ready? Watch me bounce. I'm gonna go. Wee, <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love so it. Oh. So guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Squishy's House. You can check out what she's been doing for me over on her channel now. It looks like you're bouncing on my head. Oh, let me see you like, <laughs> boy. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>